Get ready to embark on an intergalactic adventure as SpaceX takes us on a journey to the stars. Buckle up and brace yourself for the ultimate space odyssey as Elon Musk's visionary company invests a staggering $2 billion into the development of Starship, the next-generation spacecraft that will revolutionize space exploration. With a mission to make humanity a multi-planetary species, SpaceX is on a quest to push the boundaries of science and engineering. And with Starship, they have taken a significant step in accomplishing that objective. SpaceX is paving a route towards a future that is beyond our wildest ideas in many ways, wow. including the cutting-edge technology that was employed in the design and construction of the spacecraft and the awe-inspiring sights. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Metatech. Join us as we take a closer look at SpaceX's ambitious plan to invest a staggering $2 billion in the Starship, the revolutionary spacecraft that is set to take us to the next level of space exploration. But before we get started, we want to extend a warm welcome to all our first-time viewers. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay up to date on our latest content and never miss a thing. Now, without any more delay, let's dive right into it. Despite the fact that the mega rocket blew up shortly after leaving the launch pad earlier in the month of April, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk anticipates that the company will spend approximately $2 billion on the development of its Starship rocket. During a conversation that took place on Twitter Spaces on Saturday, April 29, 2023, Elon Musk stated, my expectation for the next flight would be to reach orbit. Musk stated that the business does not anticipate needing to raise funding to further strengthen the Starship program and its other initiatives. This is despite the fact that SpaceX conducts secondary rounds approximately twice a year in order to provide employees and other corporate shareholders with the opportunity to sell stock. Starship has been in development by SpaceX for a number of years, and the company now has many prototypes that are undergoing testing and modification in order to get it ready for orbital missions. The spacecraft is planned for a wide variety of missions that take place beyond the orbit of Earth, including missions to the Moon, Mars, and even further afield. The Starship is designed to be completely reusable, meaning that it will be able to take off, land, and take off again several times. This will make space travel more accessible and economical. The first iteration of the Starship design included a body made of stainless steel, and it is capable of being outfitted for both cargo and crewed missions, with a capacity for as many as 100 passengers. Elon Musk is of the opinion that it is necessary to build a permanent human settlement on Mars in order to ensure the continued existence of the human species. When talking about the exciting first fully stacked Starship rocket launch on April 20, the CEO of SpaceX said that the outcome was roughly in what I expected, and may be slightly exceeding my expectations. SpaceX currently has multiple additional prototypes in various stages of assembly, and the company plans to launch the next attempt at reaching space with the enormous rocket within the next few months. After the explosion of the mega rocket, Elon Musk complimented the SpaceX team on an exciting test launch and wrote in a tweet that he learned a lot for the next test launch in a few months. The goal of these missions is just information. Like, we don't have any payload or anything. It's just to learn as much as possible, Musk added. He estimated that there is probably an 80% chance of reaching orbit with a Starship flight this year, but he also stated that he believes there is a 100% chance of reaching orbit within 12 months. The Starship flight successfully lifted off the launch pad and completed a number of important milestones, but Musk provided more information on a wide range of issues that the rocket encountered. Only 30 of the 33 Raptor engines that were located at the base of the Super Heavy booster were ignited when the rocket was launched. Musk stated that SpaceX chose not to start three engines because the company determined they were not healthy enough to bring them to full thrust. Musk stated that because of the engine failures, Starship slipped laterally off the launch pad as it rose into the sky during its ascent. SpaceX lost communications, with another engine approximately 27 seconds into the flight, an incident that occurred with some kind of energetic event that dislodged the heat shield from around many other engines. Around 85 seconds into the launch, SpaceX lost thrust vector control, which literally translates to the ability to steer the rocket. This was the moment when things really hit the fan. Musk also reported that the rocket's AFTS, or Autonomous Flight Termination System, which destroys the vehicle in the event that it flies off course, took about 40 seconds to kick in. This is something that SpaceX will need to correct before the next launch attempt. 
the rocket's ability to maintain its integrity throughout the mission, including its successful passage of a launch milestone known as Max-Q, which refers to the moment when the atmospheric pressure is at its peak on the rocket, was the most impressive aspect of its performance. Looking forward, Musk remarked that SpaceX had made so many improvements to the future prototypes. The corporation has to be certain that we don't lose thrust vector control before the subsequent launch. As the rocket was taking off, Musk said that the booster caused a rock tornado underneath the rocket. He was speaking while the rocket was still on the ground. Musk stated that SpaceX certainly didn't expect to demolish the launch pad's concrete and create a crater in its wake as a result of the rock tornado. Despite the fact that SpaceX has not seen evidence that the rock tornado actually damaged engines or heat shields in a material way, Musk said that the business certainly didn't expect to destroy the concrete. Musk said that one of the hypotheses that makes the most sense is that we may have compressed the sand underneath the concrete to such a degree that the concrete was effectively bent and then cracked. Musk has expressed that one of the primary goals for the subsequent flight will be to start the 33 Raptor engines faster and get off the pad faster. Musk highlighted that the amount of time it took for SpaceX to fire the engines and launch the rocket is a really long time to be blasting the pad. The launch took place after approximately five seconds. The company's goal for the subsequent effort is to cut all of that time in half. Photos taken at the scene after the explosion show the devastating impact that the Super Heavy Booster's engines had. According to a report published by the United States Fish and Wildlife Service, the launch hurled chunks of concrete and metal thousands of feet away and produced a cloud of dust and pulverized concrete that drifted as far as 6.5 miles away from the launch site. On Saturday, Musk stated that the pad damage is actually quite small and that it should be repaired quickly. According to his estimation, the required fixes will result in SpaceX being probably ready to launch in six to eight weeks. Some of the propellant tanks that are located close to the launch pad will be replaced by SpaceX. Despite being hit by some pretty big chunks of concrete, the tower that is 500 feet tall is in good shape and has no meaningful damage. Musk feels that the most significant barrier to flying again is probably requalification of the AFTS that destroyed the rocket since it took way too long for the explosion to occur. Under the launch tower that will be used by SpaceX's subsequent Starship rocket, the company's engineers are moving forward with a plan to install steel plates that will be cooled by a water system. On the other hand, environmental activists and scholars have expressed concern regarding the cloud of dust and pulverized concrete that was produced as a result of the launch. Musk asserted that the debris was not toxic at all, but he also stated that we don't want to do that again. Conservation groups have filed a lawsuit against the Federal Aviation Administration following SpaceX's April 20th Starship launch. According to the groups, the FAA approved SpaceX had expanded launch operations in Boca Chica, Texas, too quickly without proper environmental review and without requiring adequate mitigation efforts from Elon Musk's company. SpaceX's Boca Chica facility is situated in a sensitive wildlife habitat that is home to several threatened and endangered species, such as ocelots, piping plovers, and Kemp's Ridley sea turtles. The surrounding area comprises fragile wetlands and shore regions that serve as a significant stopover for many migratory birds. A previous federal assessment of the site discovered that SpaceX's pre-Starship launch activities had already caused a significant reduction in shorebird populations and other negative impacts on the local ecosystem. The recent Starship launch by SpaceX garnered significant media attention, but the accompanying legal complaint highlights that it is not the only major fiery event to have occurred at the Boca Chica site in recent years. The lawsuit also alleges that at least eight explosions and fires have occurred at the site in the last five years. Beyond these incidents, the increased vehicle traffic, sound, light, and pollution from the SpaceX operations pose a significant risk of environmental disruption to the local area on a daily basis. However, regarding the recent launch, Musk stated that to the best of their knowledge, there has not been any significant damage done to the environment that they are aware of. Since the launch, Musk has not wavered in his confidence that SpaceX will be able to try again within the next six to eight weeks, because the company is currently working on multiple Starship prototypes. I thought the SpaceX team did amazing work, he said. This is certainly a candidate for the hardest technical problem done by humans. As we've seen, SpaceX is more than just a business. It's also a movement that's ushering in a new era of space exploration. Their forward-thinking technologies and ideas for the future are nothing short of motivational. 
and we can't wait to see what else they will be able to accomplish in the future. How do you believe SpaceX's ambitions to achieve space will be accelerated by a $2 billion investment in the Starship project? Do you believe that Starship has the capability to fundamentally alter the way in which space exploration is conducted as it is now practiced? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. We hope you enjoyed this in-depth exploration of the fascinating world of SpaceX and their grand ambitions to invest $2 billion into Starship in order to achieve Elon Musk's orbit objective. Let's raise a glass to the courageous people at SpaceX who are determinedly going where no one has gone before. They deserve it. To the dreamers, the visionaries, and the pioneers who are making the impossible possible, here's to you. As always, thank you for joining us on today's episode. Stay tuned for more episodes of MetaTech, where we explore the cutting-edge technologies that are shaping our world and our future. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and keep your gaze directed above till the next time.